Hey everyone, it's Amy and I'm back finally with another photo card sorting video. It's definitely been a while. You'll notice that my background looks a little bit different. So if you haven't seen my previous video, I uploaded a studio vlog of me moving into basically my new office, my new studio space. And I have this new desk, which I absolutely love. It's very sturdy. So hopefully now my camera mount, uh, like the the uh, camera mount that I have won't start uh, shaking every time I touch the table. <laughs> so all around, I'm just so much happier in this space. The lighting is so much better. And yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. But before I get into all the photo card sorting, I wanted to mention that my sticker shop finally has a launch date. I am officially going to be launching everything on my new website on June 18th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So mark your calendars if you're interested. You can actually visit the website right now. It's not open yet, but if you do sign up for the mailing list, you can get 10% off your first order. So yes, I'm very excited for everything. I've just been really busy trying to get all of that stuff organized and, you know, launching your own small business all by yourself has proven to be a challenge it's very humbling I respect people <laughs> who have been doing this for a while uh, my heart goes out to you because it's, it's just been a learning curve right in my previous vlog I did show briefly some of the things that are coming to the shop but I didn't show everything yet um, but I am going to have some new sticker sheets we've got a kitty cafe uh, we've got let's see uh, bunny library <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a little froggy artist. This one's probably my favorite. So cute. And then this might look familiar. I'm bringing back Brunch Club. Um, I'm not showing everything in this video, obviously. If you want to see everything, check out my Instagram. Um, I haven't uploaded everything there yet, but you know, I'm periodically going to be showing things as the date gets closer to the launch. But I also made this little sticker pack of these uh, kitty <laughs> teacups and I am also bringing back um, a bit of a different version of my sparkly uh, boba set so yeah um, that's just a little bit of a quick preview of everything but yeah like I said follow my Instagram follow my TikTok I'm gonna be having a lot more updates there regarding the shop okay now we can go ahead and get into the photo cards so today we have a lot of TXT and a lot of 17 those are the two biggest collections we need to put away so I'm gonna start out I guess with BTS though well at least Tay's binders because um, I only have a couple of things to put away there so let's get started with that actually let me move this over here okay uh, let me find his cards but yeah we really don't have a whole lot of Tay um, so let's just start out in this one. I just have a few to put away in here. Hopefully the lighting will adjust <laughs> and be a little bit more forgiving with um, this color background. When I had my solid white desk, it was also a really reflective finish and so I feel like that really affected, you know, the overall um, lighting in the video. Okay, so here we go. Oh, there's a dog hair. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to put these three away. So this one came from the Muster DVD. And I did a trade with a really kind person on Instagram. So he's so fluffy. <laughs> Absolutely love that one. And I honestly kind of forgot that I had a second one of these um so for now <laughs> I'm going to put him here I pulled both of these um I bought two deco kits and yeah I pulled two Tay because you know Weavers is not very good at shuffling so but I don't know I just love it so much I actually might keep them anyways uh now I have a uh, this permission to dance on stage from the Las Vegas concert my friend Melanie attended and she was so so kind to 
pick this up for me. Um, I know it's identical <laughs> to the LA one, but I can kind of show you the difference. I mean, obviously the fronts are the same. It's not a huge difference, but you know, like this one has the McDonald's sponsored ship on the bottom. And then this one says Las Vegas. So yeah, I don't know. I just think it's nice that you can have a little piece of the concert, especially when, you know, it wasn't something that I was able to attend. And it's just really sad <laughs> that I wasn't able to attend, especially, you know, my best friend. But I did a little rearranging off camera to make room for them, but I like it. Okay, I actually, I need to go to the mini tour binder now, which you saw just a little bit ago. So I recently made a video where I set up this binder. If you've never seen it before, it is by the company called Prism Platinum. And the owner is so, so sweet, like truly, uh, check out um, her website, her Instagram, her TikTok, uh, give her a follow. I'll go ahead and link um, all the links <laughs> to her shop and her social so you can follow updates. But I moved all of Tay's mini photo cards into her Prism Platinum binder and I absolutely love it. It's so sturdy, it looks so good on my shelf. Um, but I, yeah, like, as you can see, I just put all of his, uh, mini PC sets in here and I really, really, really love it. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to go here into the back. The back just sort of has like miscellaneous things that really aren't part of a set, you know? So, okay. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to put this one. This was for... Tay's um the pins that he designed so this is the photo card for the pins the made by v right his brooch set the made by v collection i also ordered his uh bag that big that really pretty uh brown bag that bag probably won't get here till like july or august i think so because i i missed the pre-orders several times and i finally was able to grab one during like the final pre-order period or something so that bag will come with a card so it'll go here and then these came from the most recent not maybe not the most recent i forget which um army kit but um this is tay and jk i don't know i just think they look really really pretty and i kind of want to put them together because i feel like the two cards kind of balance each other out kind of like what I did with the McDonald's one so you know what we're just gonna go with it just don't question it <laughs> okay this is all I have to put in here Prism Platinum also sells the pages so all these pockets that fit the mini tour cards the sleeves as well I just think it's really great and the company was made by an army I feel like so many of us collectors expressed our frustration with how to store mini photo cards because of their weird size and I just think it's great that Prism Platinum took the initiative to just be like I'm gonna make my own I'm gonna make something that's gonna fit my collection and I just think that's really wonderful so yeah, I'm really excited for their restock because I am definitely going to grab another binder. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we should go for next because I honestly, my, I honestly might need to save 17 for a bit later because it's so big. Same with TXT. Um, maybe we'll go with and hype in. All right. So if you're new to my channel, I only collect Jake. I love all the members, obviously, but gosh, collecting and hype in can be kind of expensive. <laughs> so, uh, but I love collecting Jake though. And we need to go over. Okay, here I already pre-added some pages. I am going to put away his Japanese cards. So I joined my friend Faye's group order and got every single one, I think, but one. I'm trying to set up a trade right now for that final card. But um, yeah, I got really lucky. We got amazing pulls from the group order that I joined. So it was just a lot less hassle for me trying to hunt all these down by myself. So I think we will put them. Um, I think this is going to be an eight configuration because there's only eight photo cards. And I, I'm not aware if there were any fan signs or pre-order benefits associated with these. I only joined for the album photo cards, so. 
join the group order I mean I'm gonna kind of set it up like this and then hopefully if I do the trade I will put the one that I'm missing right here oh my gosh there's more dog hair <laughs> Uh, let me get a filler for right here. So the middle will be intentionally blank. All right, so where do I want to go from here? I have these from The Little Wishes and I don't know where I want to put them. I might see these are his Little Wishes cards right here back from like, you know, like around Christmas time. And I joined a group order just for his stickers, and I'm like, I don't know exactly how I want to incorporate this in here. I honestly might just put them up here for now. I know that's kind of, uh, it's going to look kind of weird, but I mean, it's whatever. I might just completely like redo some of these pages. This is such a random page as it is, but it's fine. We'll just leave it like that. All right, now I need to go... I think to do deco the deco kit so i think these were from the deco kit yes i did an unboxing of that if you want to see all the inclusions and the stickers and all that stuff it was really cute um but <laughs> these little polaroids are kind of an odd size so i'm just going to stick them here with all the other larger photo cards and then we have this random page which let's see how do i want to do this I think I was gonna put his um, random photo card from the deco kit here, and then we have the actual set, so I think these are gonna go uh, onto their own page. And then I have, what is this supposed to be, like a luggage tag or something? I think I traded with my friend Pamela for this one. So, honestly, don't know what to do. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing, hello, okay. Okay, I have these stickers. I just really don't know how I want to organize this. I might have to put them on the backs of these maybe. So I might do it something like this. Like that. And then Sanu and Nikki. Uh, and then for the stickers, oh gosh, I really don't know how I want to do this. I might put them on the backs of each member. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. So yeah, okay. I don't know. Is this going to look really bad? But <laughs> I'm always like unsure of how I want to display their stickers, honestly, because they're so cute. I want to keep them, you know, in something. I don't want to just like leave them in the box that they came in. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know how I want to display these. <laughs> so yeah, it's fine. Hopefully they don't move around too much. And then J. And then to balance it out, I'll put the fillers over here all right so it's gonna be something like that and at the back <laughs> it's not too bad I think it's actually kind of cute okay and then let me put some fillers on this page as well I know this page is looking a bit wonky but it's kind of a catch-all for you know like his dvd photo cards anything that's not really part of like a big set you know but yeah that is all then that i have for jake's binder okay next up we have luna and i don't have very many cards but i think um all of these were gifted to me actually by a few different friends so yes i actually made a spot already for this ginsel card i can't believe my friend evie gifted this to me because you know it being from an older album and yeah i'm just so so happy to have this she's so pretty and i just think she looks really perfect right here in the very center okay so i need to go over to and i think i'm still i have not made very good progress with this album it is so so sad 
but yes I was gifted uh, this by my friend uh, Pamela she has been downsizing her collection and so she knew that I also collect Heechin and yeah now we have this card we're slowly making progress I know I've just been uh, I've just been really really bad at trying to finish these because the resale prices for these are just not good they're just a little too high for for what I want to spend right so okay now this is kind of like a miscellaneous page we've got some of like their um light stick like anniversary uh, cards and stuff like that so oh my gosh i don't know if you can hear my cat she's having a fit because i'd have i've closed the door on her <laughs> uh, oh my gosh let me just let her in because she's being she's being bad you want in come on hello hi are you gonna keep it down so i can film are you gonna roll around yep this is her favorite thing to do when she comes in here. She'll just roll around for a bit. <laughs> and then she's going to cry and went back out. <laughs> all right. So while Olive is continuing to flop around the floor, I'm just going to reorganize um, a couple of these just so that um, these three this can just go up here instead because it is part of a set and oh my gosh the cat just knocked over some cushions lovely <laughs> and then I will just put go on here I know there's really no rhyme or reason at this point like that all right it's gonna have to you know look like this <laughs> Not bad though, at least these three are together up there. So yeah, thank you so much, Pamela, for gifting um, these to me. And then, okay, now we have um, these cards from the Lunaverse. So um, here's my Lunaverse page. I have not uh, completed really many sets for my biases, but I did at least leave um, these two spots blank. And I did, I think these were from trades. Yes, I traded with my friend on Instagram. So these are actually some of the cutest cards, truly. I really, really love this eye patch one. <laughs> it's the best. And these all have the pink background, right? So yeah, we'll just do something like this. But yes, we are done with Luna. The boys is up next. <laughs> this collection look at this it is getting wild how thick this is and I know I say this in every video but I need to get another binder I think I really really need to split them up the funny thing though is that there's actually still a bit of room to spare because these rings are so big but I just the thickness and like the weight of everything I'm like I don't know I really think I might need to start splitting them up into two separate ones. Okay, hold on. I need to move my coffee. <laughs> I have a little like cup warmer thing plugged in on the side for my coffee cup. Okay, so we are going to be finishing Maverick. Like finally, I know it has taken ages. Like at this moment that I'm filming this, the boys are in the States. Like, I think their Chicago concert is really, really soon. I think at the, at the moment they're in LA. At least I saw Kevin posting a ton of photos um, on the Walk of Fame, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, we have uh, Eric's final Maverick card here. I miss Eric so much. I really, really hope he's doing okay. Um, and that, you know, once tour is over, maybe we'll hear some more news about him. But I truly hope that, you know, he's not pressured or anything to, like, come back. Like, hopefully just, you know, when he's ready. But I really, really do miss him a lot. So I am wishing him all the best, truly. Okay, so we have finished Youngoon. Um, oh my god, that's it. We have finished Maverick completely. 
So let me bask in this glory for like two seconds because um, <laughs> it's been a labor of love. This whole collection really has been a labor of love. Um, especially trying to collect three members fully has been, whoo, has been a bit wild, but also really enjoyable. I really, really, really enjoy collecting the boys a lot. Okay, moving to the back now, miscellaneous stuff, but, oh, here we go. I have one from the B-Zone. I wonder if these cards are going to be, it's not focusing, but what I'm trying to say is I wonder if these are going to be the same ones available at the concerts here in the U.S. as well. I vaguely remember seeing some kind of concert merch announcement pop up on Twitter, but I don't know if they're going to be the same photo cards or not. Alrighty, now we have stuff from um, the fourth fan kit and I prepped some brand new pages. I was gonna do two, 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 two. Yeah, a six configuration for Youngun and then Eric. So Eric's is in the middle. I usually like to put Eric in the middle since he's my main bias. And then uh, the Hyunjae set like so. Then I'll throw in some fillers as well. Um, so I don't know, something like that, yeah. And then I actually have my membership kit. I put a little bit of washi over it so you don't see like my information, but uh, I don't know, actually, uh, I'm just going to stick it down here because I don't want it to slide out from the top because it is kind of a thicker card. It's, it's, a, it's a plastic card, like a credit card almost. So we're just going to leave it like that. You know, this is really just very random. I need to um, find some more fillers. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I don't know. This page, I'll probably redo it later and leave this the way it is. And I don't know, maybe finally by the next video, um, I'll have them split into two binders because this is just insane. It is just so, so heavy. But, you know, surprisingly, everything lays really, really flat and really, really nicely though. So like my cards like aren't damaged or anything, but I think I'm just being paranoid. All right, guys, let's do 17 before we do TXT. TXT is going to be last because they do have the most that I need to put away today. Now, maybe I should mention a little bit <laughs> that um, I have a really big order coming from Mercari Japan that is pretty much going to be like all 17. Maybe there's like one TXT card, but the majority of the whole order is going to be 17, which means... I will once again <laughs> be redoing my collection. I have decided to pick up a third member to collect. There's your hint right there. <laughs> uh, so I am still trying to decide exactly how I want to store three members. Obviously, um, the obvious answer is to just store them in a standard, you know, three ring or four ring binder um, and have like three members, kind of like how I do it with the boys, right? But yeah, um, I don't know. I really, really still enjoy using mini binders though. I just love the look of them and just how portable they are. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to put each member in their own mini binders like I've been doing? or do I want to transfer them to a big binder, or maybe only putting their album photo cards into the large binder and then putting non-album photo cards in a mini binder. So there's a lot of options and I just need to kind of decide how I want to do it. But right now, everyone's still split up. 
So yes, um, this is Vernon's little mini, what is this? A collect book, it's a collect book. I only have one Carrotland card. So yeah, I haven't been focusing on any of his non-album cards. So yeah, um, his little itty bitty collect book <laughs> just looks like this for now. All right, so let's get into Joshua's album cards first. I don't really have a whole lot for Joshua, but um, why I'm really also excited about my Mercury Japan haul is that I'm going to be finishing Joshua and DK's album photo cards completely with uh, that order. So it's really, really exciting. All these blank pages will be filled. Um, but I just need to go to Hengare. Here we go. And put this one away. And that completes his Hengare collection. Now, I have a bunch of pobs from the Ataka era. And at the moment, I do have it combined in with his album photo cards. But I think I'm going to eventually split them up and put pobs into the non-album binder. So, yeah. We'll see. I still, like I said, I have not decided exactly like how I want to do this. Mini binder it is for now. I just love A5 binders a lot so I just think I'll have a hard time parting with them. <laughs> but most of these photo cards are from uh, group orders that I joined. My friend Ava who's also a YouTuber. Some of these were from Melanie and just yeah all around um, really really good experiences with these group orders. Oh gosh, my mailman is here and I'm always afraid he's going to see me through the window. <laughs> okay, uh, now we have um, Power of Love, Japan. So yeah, these I think were also from Ava's group order. And uh, I do have a dupe card here, which <laughs> I'm going to be chaotic and keep both. Yeah, I know. Um, should I change these or just leave it? I guess it doesn't really matter, right? In case I'm going to be moving them into a separate binder anyways. And plus they're big, so I might leave them honestly where they are now. And wait, what am I doing? Why am I putting it front to back? No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> I forgot that with Joshua's collection, I've been um, putting only one card per page, whereas with DK's collection, his are still, I'm using them like front to back. So yeah, um, I think with DK, no matter how I end up reorganizing my binders, I'm going to have to change his regardless and make it not front to back anymore. So yes, oh my gosh, I am rambling and so long-winded, I am so sorry, but Joshua's is done and now we just have his non-album uh, photo card binder here and I have a bunch um, from Carrot Land, so I think what I was going to do is just have his Carrot Land stuff be right after last year's Carrot Land. Yes, here they are. So these aren't really going to be in any particular order. I'm just going to see how they look together on a page like this. I think each member had five like solo photo cards for the Carrot Land set. So yeah, kind of like an odd man out here, but um, I'm just going to put him on this page. And then I have uh, these two group cards that can kind of join him right here. And these were all from Melanie's group order, so she had really good pulls. I was really, really happy with how that worked out. Okay, so there is his <laughs> tiny carrot land set. All right, oops, this Luna one got here. And now for DK, let's see, is this his album? Yes, this is for his album. What is this? Oh my god, a piece of my blanket. I have a fuzzy blanket on a chair behind me. <laughs> These binders were sitting on the chair and a piece of the blanket came off. That's nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm so excited to finally be able to finish his album photo cards when 
my Mercari Japan order gets here. Okay, let's see. I think these are all going to be Japan and Ataka. So this is the page that I have set up for his Ataka pops and um, Japanese cards, right? Yeah. I think I was going to put this one. Is this Yishiyu? So I honestly could not tell you what round <laughs> all these cards are from because I feel like I joined these group orders quite a while ago. And you know, if you've ever dealt with Yijiu before, which is a Chinese fan sign, um, they take quite a while to ship things out, like several months. So, by, you know, by the time you get your stuff, it's like, oh no, I don't even remember what round these came from. So yeah, I think that's cute. Now, um, <laughs> hold on, let's appreciate the little gnome, I don't know, ornament or statue or whatever this little guy is, but he's so cute and it's very wintry. I think the other members, some of them are holding like ornaments and stuff. So it is a very wintry vibe, which I'm just gonna stick him on the same page with um, <laughs> these Japanese uh, photo cards. And yes, this is a dupe as well, so maybe I will remove that. Put this here. I love the ones of him with the yarn ball. It is so cute. My heart. <laughs> ah, okay. We'll do that. And then these ones I actually have already put in my binder. I don't know why I took them out. I think I was just rearranging some things and I forgot to put them back in and obviously like oh my gosh this this page is a mess these are all like super random things but it's fine we'll put him here for now there we go so all album associated cards are in this binder and if you're curious um, or if you haven't seen my setup videos these binders are the Carrot Land 2021 mini binders um, the six ring and I just replace the pages because I didn't like the pages that the uh, binder came with but it did come with this cover so that's why um, <laughs> both of these are pretty much identical when you open them up because one I got off of Mercari Japan because Weverse was all sold out and then Weverse restocked them eventually <laughs> and so I grabbed another one and they ended up being about the same price so yeah I just love them they're so colorful and really beautiful and this is another reason why I still want to utilize these binders even if I end up moving some of the photo cards to a larger binder you know okay but Talking about Carrot Land, we're going to put away his uh, most recent Carrot Land set, which is these ones. So uh, let's do um, something like this. This binder is, again, a bit of a mess as well. Um, I really want to redo these where I'm not using like front to back. Um, I like the look of front to back, but at the same time, it does get a little bit confusing <laughs> when I need to add another page in between or something like that. So yeah, um, oh no, why is it not going in? There we go. So that is all I have for his carrot land and we have um, a unit card there. So. Yeah, I really have a feeling by the time I do my next binder organizing video, I'll probably be totally redoing this one and at least switching him into clear sleeves most likely. That's the plan for now. Okay, now I have one incomplete card, which was his final incomplete card that I needed to finish the set off with. Then after that, I just have um, his birthday set. So I think, yes, this is the page <laughs> I set aside for his birthday cards. And I'm so happy that my friend um, offered to sell me um, her DK birthday set because she knew that I missed the drop when 
it was available on Weverse because it was at like a ridiculous hour for me, like 4 a.m. or something, <laughs> and I missed it. And I'm really sad that I missed Vernon's too because um, I would have bought that as well. <laughs> but anyways, oh my goodness, I think we are done then with 17. Okay, we have one more binder to do. Okay, so TXT. Gosh, this really needs a binder upgrade too. These are starting to really um, burst and I don't know if I can even add any more pages. Oh, this thing keeps sliding. We're just gonna ignore that for now. <laughs> but yeah, I really don't think I can add any more pages after this. I, I think I'm going to move them into a larger binder or split them into two. I haven't quite decided how I wanna do that yet. But we have um, we have cards to put away for Thursday's Child. So um, for Thursday's Child, I decided to just collect Yanjun. I focused mostly on Yanjun, and then after I completed his collection of finished trades and all that, I decided to um, also collect Subin's. Um, just his album photo cards. I'm not focusing on his lenticulars or his postcards, like literally just the album cards. So yeah, I just got lucky in that um, my friends pulled him quite a bit and so we were able to just do some trades because, you know, I had cards that they needed anyways. But yeah, um, so I actually, I think I, did I pull this one? I think I pulled the Subin pretty sure I did. But yeah, um, if you're new to my channel, I originally have always collected uh, Yanjun and Subin, and then there's been a couple eras where I would collect OT5, and um, I just got really lucky in that regard because I joined so many group orders at the time, and they were able to pull OT5 for me, which was really, really fun. I really liked collecting that. But, you know, financially speaking, it's probably best that I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Um, but I really do enjoy double collecting if I can, but when it comes to, I think, you know, more rare cards and things like that, like lucky draws or fan sign cards, broadcasts or whatever, um, I would like to just focus on Yanjun specifically. I think it'll just be a lot less stressful that way. So, okay, this page looks a little odd at the moment because um, I'm waiting on my friend to send Subins. So I think she's sending me like three Subin cards, which I'm so happy about, which I'm so grateful for. So I'm just going to leave these two spots blank for Subin. Then I'll just put fillers in here for the blank spots. And then kind of the same thing here. This is from Tear, and I think I pulled the Subin and then Melanie pulled this Yanjun and she held a group order for um, Tear version which looks like the oatmeal packets you know. <laughs> so uh, yeah she sent me his album because I claimed him in a group order. Okay and now um, we have this is the Weverse pre-order benefit I believe. Yes. So we've got the Yanjun, which I traded with Melanie, and she sent me um, his Target one as well. So now I'm just really missing Subin's uh, Target card, right? And then Pamela, I think, is sending me Subin's Weavers. <laughs> is that how this is? It's been a while, so I'm trying to like work it out in my head. <laughs> Okay, so now I need to go into the back. I think the rest are pretty much like deco package stuff. Something like that. <laughs> okay, so yes, I think this is how I was planning to do it. I pulled uh, the one of him in the bear costume. So that was really exciting. I was so happy. <laughs> and then I'm going to put the full OT5 set in here as well. Well, so I will just do like a two, two configuration like this. Two, two, two. Yes. Something like that. Okay, well, I just ran out of white sleeves and I'm going to need to go look around and see where I can grab another box. It might be upstairs. So in the meantime, we will just keep going. There were so many Polaroids here from the deco kit like a bit wild <laughs> and stickers too 
and um, I have some stuff from Memories and the Di Festa and then the bigger inclusions from Thursday's Child. So yeah, let's see how I was going to do this. I think I was just going to put them um, something like this because these are the colorful borders and I really want a Yanjin in the center because I put the cute little clear overlay over it. <laughs> so I don't know. I just think it's cute. And then I'll just go ahead and put Subin up at the top because he's the leader. And yeah, something along the lines of that. Okay. Now, um, oh, I know. I think I'm going to put the stickers on the back. So, yeah, I think I'll do one, two, three, four, five, like that. And I'll just put Yanjun's behind his card, kind of like that, I guess. So, um, yeah, we'll do something along the lines of this. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how it looks. Uh, Tay, yeah, we can put his like that. Um... Oh, well, Bombgu is... Oh, well, I guess they're not really going to be next to their own photo card, which is okay. So, at least this fills it out, and then when you flip it over, you can see their little stickers. So, I don't know. Nah, it looks okay. <laughs> We're going to keep going. So, I will put individual Polaroids in the cross configuration again. And then... Uh, we'll do units after that. So, um, let's see. We can put like Bonkyu next to his, Kai. Where is Kai's individual card? Hello? There he is. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Uh, okay. And then we can use this one. Oh my god, this is so crooked. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <sighs> okay, and then Yanjun and Subin. And then, do we already have every member here so far? Yes? Every member? Okay, then, yeah? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then we have this extra Polaroid. So, when all else fails, you just put it in the center on the back. All right, now we have some random cards, and I'm going to put, mm, let's see, let's see, maybe the Di Festa in the middle, his memories, and I pulled that too. I was really, really excited. <laughs> and then we have his ID from Di Festa, and then just the memories digital code, which I don't know what to do with yet, so we will just stick it there. Oh no, it's sliding out. Okay. Oh no, my battery is flashing. Oh dear. Okay. This poor, oh man, this poor binder is just splitting at the seams already. We really, really need to upgrade. So lenticulars, kind of going in order, but yeah, <laughs> not really. And then this is from, oh, the MOA production. That's right. I forgot. So this was the MOA production as well, not the D-Festa ID. I don't know what I was thinking. This is D-Festa. This was the MOA production uh, that Pamela did a group order for. And then the two cards of Yanjun and Subin from Tear. So yes. Okay, that finishes our TXT uh, photo cards. And I'm just gonna say goodbye here because my battery is flashing. I'm so sorry to uh, rush through this ending, but I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Bye.